Hello everybody, this is Jeff Berlin. Chorus figures greatly into my overall sound. I love to use chorus uh, at different times to simply lift up the music. Um, before I give a demonstration and explain my chorus and how I use it, I'd like to invite everyone to subscribe to my YouTube channel. I have a lot of very interesting videos coming up soon that hopefully will be of an interest to you. So, so subscribe away. Thanks very much. I have uh, used Chorus for years and how I came to use an EBS Unichorus, Unichorus is when I was in Holland, my Chorus pedal that I used to use died and I went to a store and they laid out three, four different pedals side by side for me to try. And when I arrived at the EBS Unichorus, it was the same impact as when I tried uh, my bass and when I tried my bass amp. The chorus sound was glorious and the bass tone didn't change at all. So I am a firm and committed uh, supporter of EBS Unichorus. To produce a chorus sound requires two separate amplifiers because the chorus essentially is one side, which, uh, one amp, which is a dry sound, a non-moving sound, whereas the other one is a uh, slightly detuned and slightly delayed signal. And it's the combination of the two that creates this sort of widespread chorus wash, this shimmering sound. And the more you increase the chorus, the more that it actually will affect both sides of the amp, which will be slightly delayed and slightly out of tune. It actually is a legacy, uh, you might find it interesting to know, that came from the Beatles. The Beatles experimented with delays and flangers and different ways of recording, and it was actually the precursor to the creation of the proper chorus pedal. So I'll have two amplifiers, I'll have a mono bass, and I'll have a chorus pedal, a stereo chorus pedal, with an out, one out to each amp, and then one in for my bass guitar. Now when I'm in a recording studio, I request three uh, channels. One channel for one side, one amp, the other side, the other amp, which is for the chorus, and a DI channel right off the pickup, for the dry, straight sound that my bass produces. And I also ask the engineer to pan, to turn the, 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 the pan knobs whereby the chorus is divided hard left and hard right. One amp is pointed hard left in the sound picture and the other amp goes hard right in the sound picture. This creates a wide sonic. And it's what I did uh, when I recorded Joe Frazier Round 3 with some of the keyboards. You'll notice they're hugely left and right, and it lifted up the entire, let's say, keyboard choral aspect of that record. Plus, uh, as a bass player, I would uh, utilize the DI, and the DI uh, softens and mollifies the effect of the chorus. Before I demonstrate why chorus is so important to me, let me play you the beauty, but the dry beauty, the dry, straight sound of a bass and an amp without chorus, and then we'll put the chorus on, you can compare the two. It's a lovely sound, the straight sound, but I invite you to listen to how the music sort of lifts as soon as my chorus pedal is implemented.
lifts up the sound. It makes it richer. It makes it special. It's one of the things that I think has inspired me to pursue varieties of different melodic and harmonic investigations on a bass that are harmonically different and beautiful. And it comes from the sound that uh, the chorus provides that gives me that inspiration. So thank you very much for watching and listening. Again, I would invite you, come join us here. Subscribe to my uh, YouTube channel and there's a lot more interesting things to come. Thanks for watching.